from pocket money to your first paycheck. Hello! My name is Arman. I came to Hamburg as a child 15 years ago and walked along empty streets, not a kid in sight, and I wondered, don't they have work to do? In Germany, children and young people are usually looked after by their parents. They also get pocket money. For young people like you, who live here without their families, things are a bit different. Your parents can't give you any money. Does that mean you have to work to support yourself here? No. Children aren't allowed to work here. Instead, girls and boys are expected to go to school. You have to go to school as well. First, you learn German, and then you learn everything that the other German-speaking children and young people learn. While you're going to school, you can't earn any money. But the best thing is, it doesn't cost you anything to go to school. And you'll probably enjoy it too. So long as you're going to school, the state will pay for your accommodation, what you eat and drink, your clothes, medical care, and lots more. Just like German-speaking kids, you get pocket money as well. And you can use it to buy things which are important to you. How much pocket money you get depends on where you live. When you finish school, you can start training for a job or start studying. As a trainee, you earn money, and as a student, you can apply for financial help from the state. A cook, a car mechanic, or for example, a nurse, doesn't earn as much money as a teacher or an engineer. You want to know what you can buy with all that money, what it's all worth. To find out, let's go and do some shopping. In Germany, shops and businesses, just like government agencies and offices, open and close at fixed times. If a shop closes at 8, it's best to get there, no later than quarter to 8. If you turn up even one minute too late, you'll find the doors closed. On Sundays, forget it. No matter where you go, everything's closed. I want that one. But I haven't saved up enough money yet. Cool. If you know what you want, the best thing is to put aside some money every month. Mobile phones, for example, are much cheaper if you buy them second hand. You can get some real bargains. And the phones are often just as good as new. Buying stuff second hand is normal in Germany. Lots of people do it. There's nothing strange about it or bad. It's just smart. Salam alaikum. Is that halal? Is that halal? Halal, alham, mashallah, halal. I'll take 10 kilos of everything. <laughs> You'll find halal food in Turkish and Arabic shops, like this one here. There are lots of cheap supermarkets in Germany. For example, Aldi, Lidl and Penny. And there's also places like Rewe and Edeka, which are a bit more expensive. So make sure you compare prices before you buy. Pomegranates, for example, are more expensive here than in countries further south, and they're more difficult to find. Apples are cheap though. We eat lots of them here, and you can buy them everywhere. German kids love apple juice. But be careful. Lots of food, including sweets, contain pork gelatin. If you eat halal or kosher food, best choose products which are labelled vegetarian or vegan. This means 
there are no animal products in them. In Germany, young people can only buy and consume certain products when they are 16 or over. Even when you're over 16, you might be asked for proof of your age when you pay for certain things. Shopping bags aren't free here. That helps protect the environment from too much plastic rubbish. You can use most bags again and again. They're pretty strong. Don't throw away empty cans or bottles. Bring them back instead, and you'll get the deposit back. That's good for the environment too, and your wallet. So you see, if you spend your money carefully, and you save up for what you want, you'll do all right. OK? Right, I'm off to work. At the end of each month, my pay gets transferred into my account. Some is taken off to pay my tax and insurance. If I need cash, I get it from the cash machine or ATM. Boah, that's a lot to take in all at once, eh? But one thing at a time. Most important is, first, you go to school and get used to your new situation. You can think about the rest once you've finished school and you know what you want to be. So, Best of luck, everyone.